On Spotlight today, we go behind the glitz and glamour of the Nigerian entertainment industry to meet a man who is playing a major role in oiling the wheels of the industry. Come with us. One of the most unique characteristics of the Nigerian entertainment circle is the fact that it's a collection of several uncoordinated individual activities. So much energy pulling in different directions, but unified enough to create an industry that has birthed some of the biggest names in contemporary African creative circle. In recent times, it appears the industry is gaining a semblance of structure, and one of the drivers of this is Temple, as led by Idris or Lauren Imbe. I think um, primarily we were on, we've always been about African excellence. And um, the very simple fact that, I mean, what's the minimum <clears throat> that we expect of ourselves? How do we want to be portrayed? How do we want our stories to be told? How do we want our visitors or our guests to see us? He likened the Nigerian entertainment circle to an untapped gold mine. If you go and um, check the statistics from the biggest banks here and you compare it with the biggest um, entertainment companies abroad, if you look at their revenue from a year as recent as last year, um, the big entertainment companies made maybe four or five times what the big banks made. So at the moment, what we're doing is we're consuming the raw material. We have not started to multi-purpose, and that is where um, should actually be the starting point. So a very good example, I would like anybody to come out and correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not know of many success stories with merchandising. So the biggest talents in entertainment or sports, I don't know how many pairs of shoes or how many lipsticks that they have sold. You came uninvited. How can I be excited? In the past two years of his existence, Temple has successfully introduced activities like memorabilia auctioning with King Sunny Ade and Afrobit legend Fela Nikola Pokuti. These type of activities are usually big name spinners in the Western world, but almost non-existent within the African creative space. Well, even as I speak to you now, we're still facing resistance with certain things. But that's the thing about um, ideas. Um, you'll find people who agree and who buy into it immediately, and you'll find people who will resist. But the truth is that nothing can stop an idea whose time has, has come. You know, that's borrowed. <laughs> but and, um, t um, it was time for Temple to emerge and a time to cause a destruction in the entire entertainment and creative space. <laughs> Temple's roll call of talent include the Don Jazzy-led Maven Records, multiple award-winning singer Nice, reality stars Bisola and Jeff Akko, and former Maven act Iyanya. The, the foundation of everything we do is talent. So you must have talent. Because on the music side, for instance, we don't do auto-tune. Auto-tune is when they enhance the voice to sound better than it originally was or is. Then, you must have integrity. You must have vision. And there must be a passion for what it is that you want to pursue. So, if you don't have a vision, if you don't have a dream, you don't know what you want to achieve, there's no point no matter if it's my vision and it doesn't align with yours, 
there will be conflicts after conflicts. The people sweating, they feel the heating. We in the kitchen, there's something cooking. No baking soda, the game is over. We're sitting on top of one day. Yaya last year became a subject of controversy after leaving his co-owned music imprint, Made Man Music Group, for the raving Maven Records and subsequently moved on to the newly formed Temple Records. At the period, many believed the 2008 Project Fame winner must be at loggerheads with the Maven crew, even though he publicly maintained that the separation was cordial. The head home chill now confirms that his movement had been orchestrated. Maybe. Some people just they make mouth, but their money not all you. We know they see him at all. Nothing was cut off. As of today, I'm sure that there are at least a dozen songs between Jazzy and Yaya. That Jazzy and Yaya, Yaya and um, Tiwa, and so on and so forth. They will still be released under the imprint of Maven. Everything that happened was planned from the beginning. Entry, exit. But nothing was and can be cut off. Temple in recent times has led Nigerian acts on international platforms, including a management partnership with Jay-Z's Rock Nation and also making a prominent appearance at the 2018 edition of the prestigious South by Southwest. This, he says, is a reflection of the massive interest in the African continent from the West. I think apart from the fact that um, we make the best music in the world, I think what is also very attractive to them is our number. We are 1.3 billion people in Africa. And North America is about 300 million people. So, they, for them, it's also a game of numbers about dominance and domination. But unfortunately, in terms of penetration, we have not achieved much in our entertainment space in Nigeria or Africa because a majority of the population are still cut off. So, for someone who's in North America, who's heard about Africa, and who's, who's heard our music and comes to life, which is expected, is it, also been told that there are 170 or 180 or 200 million people in Nigeria. It wants a share of that market. But you would also see, I mean, um, or you, you may have heard, that some of those collaborations have come at a cost that you sometimes you have to pay that international act for him to do a feature or for him to do a remix of your song or to post it. It's because at the moment, things are still lobbed in their favor. That's where the numbers are in terms of the numbers that we can, we can um, verify and, uh, and account for. That's where the, 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 the biggest market for our um, talents as well today when it comes to um, streaming and the online platforms is from the diaspora, which is still a part of that, that market. Now, the diaspora market is not on those platforms because they are looking for our music. They were there already listening to the international acts. So when they find you there, is an added reason in some cases, but it does not add money to the pocket of that international act. Do you get my point? Yeah. So, what, when, there are things that we're doing, uh, we've, we've done, our, we've, we've, we've done our, our research very thoroughly, and we have some ideas that we're looking to implement, and we're happy to collaborate with other people in implementing as well. But when those things happen, I make a promise to you that those guys that you're talking about, you'll not only hear them, you will see them here.
Someone to cheat in love before me Someone to come and be my true love